Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Former Michigan State University football coach, athletic director, and trustee George Perlis has died. That story topping our news here at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Evrod Kasimi. Perlis played football for Michigan State back in the 1950s, then was the team's head coach from 1983 to 1994. He also coached in the NFL before returning to Michigan State to serve as the school's athletic director. He was elected as a Democrat to the Board of Trustees in 2006. Our Rod Maloney takes a look back at his legacy. I would expect the University of Pittsburgh, Penn State, Michigan, to buckle up. Maybe everybody in this room doesn't understand that term, but if you write it, they will. <laughs> on July 16th, 1934, Detroiters Julius and Nellie Perlis had their one and only son, George Julius Perlis. In 1952, he graduated as an all-state lineman from Detroit Western High School in the days before they wore face masks, which in many ways defined George's approach to the game and even life. Western won the state championship that year. Graduating at the height of the Korean War, George went directly into the Army. When he completed his tour in 1956, Perlis played tackle for Michigan State for another MSU football coaching legend, Duffy Doherty. But George's playing career abruptly ended in 1958 when he blew out his knee as a sophomore. Still, with football in his blood, he stayed a Spartan as a student coaching assistant. In 1972, though, opportunity knocked as Pittsburgh Steelers Hall of Fame coach Chuck Knoll hired George to coach his defensive line. There, George blossomed into one of the great football minds in the game's history. He designed a defense called the Stunt 4-3 which fans eventually nicknamed the legendary Steel Curtain Defense. With George as defensive coordinator and later assistant head coach, the Steelers built a 1970s dynasty, winning four Super Bowls in five years. Michigan State hired him away as its head football coach. And I want you to play tough. I want you to play mean. I want you to play with strength. I want you to play as tough as you can. And if you're tough and you do it within the rules, when you come in this locker room, I'll be proud of you. And that's all I can ask from you. He arrived in Pasadena for the Rose Bowl. Michigan State has it, and they now can genuinely celebrate. The Big Ten has come to Pasadena and will go home a winner. With his success, George got an offer to coach the Green Bay Packers. He parlayed that into becoming MSU's athletic director for a controversial couple of years. By 1994, the Spartan football program hit tough times again. MSU fired George after the NCAA said that he lost institutional control. George and MSU settled that contract out of court. He supported the Special Olympics. In 2008, he ran unsuccessfully for Michigan governor. Voters elected him to the MSU Board of Trustees twice thereafter, though. In his second term, the Larry Nasser scandal hit the university. The board, including George, took considerable criticism for allowing Nasser's long tenure before Nasser was sentenced to life in prison for molesting gymnasts under the guise of medical treatment. By then, Parkinson's disease had struck, forcing George into a wheelchair. And it was Parkinson's that forced Perlis to resign from the board at the end of 2018. 